Hey everybody, it's Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am making a quick video to show you that $8 urn that I got at Dollar General. I think it was last year. It comes like all gray and I whitewashed it. Do you remember that? I gave it a whitewash. I'm gonna show you. I'm filling it with Dollar Tree flowers. I am usually not a big Dollar Tree flower person but they kind of stepped up their game on their florals. Um, I want to tell you this urn, it's 14 inches tall. It is now $12 this year, but $12 is still a good deal if you don't want to spend a lot on an urn. It's very light, it's plastic. It's not the resin, it's plastic. So I do have gravel in the bottom and I have like a couple chunky heavy rocks in there. And then I fill it with potting soil. You can use styrofoam if you want to use like a big piece of floral foam. That's up to you. I just switch them out a lot. So I just found the potting soil easier. <laughs> easier so I don't keep making all holes in the floral um, foam stuff. Okay, we're going to start. I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree flowers uh, and greenery. So the only problem with Dollar Tree is they never get like a lot of one flower. I was having a really hard time finding more of this greenery. It's called just plastic greenery is what it says on the tag. Um, so I needed to find something else I can mix in with it. I came across this. It comes with pink flowers and it comes with white flowers. They have a purple flower. It's called rosemary. So this is called rosemary. So I am using these two first to go around my, um, my urn here. I'm gonna alternate them. So, and I stick them close to the side of my urn. I stick them close to the side of my urn. I'm using seven of each, which I kinda think I would have rathered eight of each to give it a little bit more fullness. But I would have to go running and looking for another one of these. And I didn't feel like doing that. So I am using seven of each. But you may want to consider eight of each. Just stick them close to the edge of your urn there. And I give them a little bend. Can you see? I give them a little bend. So they kind of hang over a little bit. I'm looking here because <laughs> I got to make sure I spread them out so I have enough space here. I like fullness. <laughs> I like fullness. Um, yeah. I Sometimes maybe I overdo them. I don't know, but I kind of like it. Full. See, I need to move these over a little bit. It's like trial and error. You just play with it and see what happens. <laughs> you may rearrange after you do it. Uh, okay, so I have my greeneries in there. That's my first step, is my greeneries to go around the edge. See how they look? So I have seven of each in there, which isn't bad. It's kind of not bad. Then I needed a flower. I found these, they're daisies. And I think they're kind of pretty. They're a pinkish color. They're pretty pink. You can get them. They have other colors, purples and... Um, they have a darker pink, I think, and that maybe a yellow. They have this pretty blue. It kind of looks white in the camera. It's a very, very light blue. It's very pretty. So I use these are my next thing is a flower. And I am going to stick them. Now I did push the leaves up. The leaves are down further. I push the leaves up on them and I give it just a little bit of a bend 
and I stick them in there and spread it out. I'm gonna have to walk around to see what it looks like. I guess I gotta fix. It's hard to do it when looking at the camera. Okay, so, so far I have 14 pieces in there without counting my pink flowers yet. So I am just sticking these right behind my other stems, my other greenery stems. I'm probably gonna have to walk around and look at it or turn it around and see. Kind of spread them out. I'm only using five of the flower picks I had I had seven in there and I ended up taking some of them out because it just looked way too crowded to me. So I just spread these out because these are bigger flowers. Um, let me just look here. This one I think needs to move this way a little. Just gonna turn it, okay. So see how my inside is there? <laughs> this is what I'm looking like. This is what I am looking like. This, I got found this urn at Michael's. After I painted this urn, uh, lantern, I'm sorry. After I painted the urn, I went looking for a lantern. This I got at Michael's. It is the perfect color match, perfect. So I am setting my lantern in there. Now I may have to adjust it once I start sticking my flowers in there. Okay, so right now I have 14 and five, 21 pieces in there. I have 21 pieces. I got some rosemary with the white flowers on it. I thought I could break it up. I couldn't find another greenery to use. So I am gonna stick these down in, in front of my lantern there. I don't want it like hiding my candle. So I gotta, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to see what my flowers look like. Okay, see, I think this, my flowers need to come up a little bit. This needs to go down. front there. I'm going to add these in there. Fluff them out. These I did not bend. I'm just sticking them straight down in there. I can see my lantern is crooked. Okay, let me get this in here. These will also help hold your lantern straight. So I am using, I have three, four, five, six of these um, rosemary picks with the white flowers. So that will be 26, no, let's see, 14, five, 21, and six, 27. Seven, fourteen. Oh, nineteen. <laughs> nineteen to six, twenty, twenty-five. Oh gosh, I'm losing all counts of my <laughs> of my picks because I did seven and seven. It was fourteen and five. It was nineteen, and six is twenty-five. So right now I'll have 25 picks in here. 
Really, I've always been good in math. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just trying to concentrate on this and trying to keep the count in my head. Okay, so I have 25 in there. I gotta kind of see. See how I stuck them around? Oops, there goes my candle. Okay. I'm hoping it's looking straight. <laughs> Let me come around and see. <sighs> okay. But the color of the lantern just matches perfect with the urn. Then they have these cute little daisies. These little bunch of daisies here. Now, they have the same color pink as the big daisies, but I'm going to add a little bit of a darker daisy in there to give it some contrast. I feel like I'm too much. No, I guess not. I am just adding one pick to each side. And then spreading it out. I don't want to over, <laughs> overkill it. I don't want to overkill it. So let's see. I'm kind of going between my white rosemary and the pink flowers. That needs to go down a little bit more. Okay. I don't want to hide my candle in the front. It's just to give it a little something else around. Okay. Let me see. Mm, that one spread out nice. Sure, I'm happy with this front one. A little flower here looks squished. They're not the best petals <laughs> on the flower, but they're okay. So I have 29. So that's $29, and then another two twenty-five. Um so it's thirty-one twenty-five to fill this urn, my Dollar General urn, with flowers from the Dollar Tree. I hope you like it. Look how pretty it is. I think it looks pretty. I think I might need to play with those pink flowers in the front. I just feel like they're kind of lost a little bit. I don't know. I'll have to play with it, I think. You'll have to go through and like spread out your flowers. But I'm really liking it. <laughs> I think it's cute for Dollar Tree flowers. I think it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, guys, I hope you like my Dollar General urn. Again, this is from Dollar General. It was $8 when I bought it, but now it's uh, 12 And don't let them tell you that each piece is sold separately because that happened to some of you when you went to buy this last year when I bought it. Because the base and the, and the top part comes separate when you're buying it, not paying separate, but the pieces are separated. So you just click them together. Um, and some of you... <laughs> Some of you, the people were saying it's $8 per piece. No, it was $8 for the whole thing. Now it's $12 for the whole thing. Okay, thanks for joining me, and I hope you like this urn also. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks. Bye.